Everybody already know what it do When you really gotta kill it, you nobody gonna feel it When you really gotta tell them it's my crew It's best friend weekend, we can party all night We got Ross moving loads, rumble, Aldo nice It's the uncle I, I can't lie, just getting in the house is getting kind of old But naturally, I'm pretty an introverted type person Naturally, I'm quarantined on the regular for the most part you know what I'm saying? But I can't lie. This getting to the house is just getting to me. So earlier in this week, me and Uncle just was running about all the shit we was going to do once, uh, you know what I'm saying? They give us the all clear, you know, fall through in the club, some of our favorite bars, restaurants, the mall, get fly, all that good shit. And with this, this just brings me to my next point. And the thing I concluded with the Uncle was, hey, bruh. I'm going to let all y'all get sick first, but I hope not get sick, but just get some of them vapors. Because if they just say they give, for instance, February, uh, uh, May 1, they get that all clear. Y'all can go outside. I'm probably not going to uh, show my face till about June 15th, give or take. I got to make sure all the particles is out of the air before I get back to living my best life. But uh, I'm looking forward to it and I'm getting my list ready of all the shit I'm going to do once look this lockdown over. I say, whoa, welcome to the Best Friend Weekend Podcast. It's your man, Aldo. Nice. It's your boy, Raj Smooth. Wow, it's your boy, Los, a.k.a. C-A-P. Um, before I even comment on Rumble's uh, week of talking about that, Rona, um, listen, man, Rumble, the uncle, I know y'all out here listening. The uncle providing us these quality tunes for, the, for as long mm-hmm. as we've been doing it. He got his Shadow Faces um, LP that's out. That EP is out on um, all streaming platforms. So if y'all look up the Uncle Shadow Phases, that there he about to drop another mix um, as well. Rumble, mm-hmm. Rumble, additionally dropping um, the gospel to start the podcast every week. But guess what, man? I'm talking to y'all too specifically. The Rumble and the Uncle podcast that we've been trying to do. Listen, get at me, man. You sitting in the house? Huh. You social distancing? I need an episode of that Rumble in the Uncle, like within the next week, man. Y'all got to make that happen, man. And sometime, be dope. sometime before June fifteenth, the boy say he not getting out <laughs> till June fifteenth, man. I mean, I, I really don't. I ain't mad at them if they say May first. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna give it a good two weeks. I'm gonna make sure everybody get they parkers off of them more than anything. I don't know about the L, but I just want to make sure they get the parkers off of them. I feel like all the clubs they got leftover particles from when everybody was still out there. Oh, the clubs! <laughs> so, the clubs the open in the day. The clubs open in the day that they can open back up. And oh, I mean, the the at early in the morning too. So that's gonna let you know who the real <laughs> um who the real Thoddingtons is. The people who I did that first weekend. What you think, Raj? I just think you're very optimistic for the for May May first return. <laughs> um, so, you know, I, I mean, you see, you know, you got to have a lot of things. I don't have anything planned, to be honest with you, because I just don't know how long this is going to go on for. And I don't want to get my hopes up. I don't want to be got my fit ready for the club for birthday, June 15th though. with Rumble. You're not- Man, I'm my birthday, I'm cooking. <laughs> <laughs> in the air fryer. Yeah. In, in the air, air fryer. Yep. That's That sounds like a winner. That's what I'm doing for my birthday. No 420. No over Locked the day. Of Rumble that. said the air particles ain't right to even use your air fryer right now <laughs> you gonna have corona fry that's what he told me man. <laughs> you don't have any y'all <laughs> uh, house air is what i'm using i'm not using it outside air. so none of the, so none of the air from outside get in your house nah nope. <laughs> you like know what i think that go under the door i don't know if you ever seen it with the little like it, it, oh, the little draft out. i know exactly what you're talking oh, about that little about you got a wet towel like when you smoke when, you, when people you smoke weed in the dorm so it won't go up on stop 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 we got to talk about that <laughs> when the last time you've been to bayou classic or something like that and that one cat <laughs> in the room gotta blow that weed and gotta put that you wet towel to... under the, the dough man i'm a, i'm gonna say it because i know he don't listen my my my, my nigga et <laughs> my, and that was last the very last bayou classic <laughs> last year 2019 that boy had the, a wet towel up under the door the last time <laughs> well I, we got a partner that don't really um care about you know he just do it up in the open but you just gotta watch who you do that around because they might hit you with that no 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 not in here 
<laughs> that is that is very much a um a inside joke for an inside joker, but, <laughs> but that, that's hilarious. But no, um, I, I just just kind of that idea of waiting as long, and I mean, I thought kind of in my head that there's probably going to be social distancing norms that are still going to be in place once things open mm-hmm. back up. So, mm-hmm. like, it's not going to be just oh the quarantine over, um. Uh, Prospect Park open. No, it's still going. They should mm. probably still be saying no. Y'all need to stay a certain distance away from one another. So establishments mm. that do things like that, it's going to be a little bit tougher to uh, to get back moving as quickly as um, Rumble is optimistically saying. Well, I mean, yeah, and we also got people out there that's really like Rumble. So I don't know how I would Rumble plenty of times, and they got people that quarantine, quote unquote, way harder than Rumble quarantines. Yeah, uh, they got people that's OCD out here that already. So I'm just I'm mm-hmm. kind of interested to see like what the majority of people is gonna look like the interactions between people once everything does get back to normal. Handshaking is over. Oh, so, man. At least to August. One of the funniest <laughs> things that I seen this week was that this dude they got this guy that we all went to college with me Graham Star, uh, maybe even Rumble. That's how long I was in college for. Um, uh, <laughs> dude was like known for his handshake you know all the cool dudes worked at Foot Locker he worked at Foot Locker he dapped you up in Foot Locker and it was like man I know whatever dude name you know was is, is like is struggling out here not being able to dap people up so they got some handshakers out there that's also gonna be you know hurting hurting <laughs> upset huh I was thinking like them boys who always who only really cool inside the club oh yeah like if, you know what I'm saying like I especially out here in Houston I know they at home sick it's, it's, it's time out for a lot of them boys. But you know what's crazy? A lot of them going to pop back with so much money that they didn't save and realize they didn't oh save so God. much money by not going to the club. Oh, my Oof. God. Just think, I think about gratuity. it. gratuity. How much do gratuity you spend? Gratuity going to be crazy. Los, how much do you spend on a traditional, we watching the same Sunday and then we, no, just watching the same Sunday at a bar. How much do and- you if we if we go to our, the Saints bar and we just and we just go there like and don't go nowhere else, I'm gonna spend at least sixty seven dollars. Okay, at least. Now let's say we go somewhere else afterwards. We go to Prospect Park or we go to. Oh, I'm a, the I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm a hundred. I'm a hundred and fifty, maybe two. We go to Edges. I'm a hundred and fifty two. Easy. I don't know if I'm. And that's if like. <laughs> I don't know. If I'm I don't think you spend I'm 152. two. Nope. Nope. I disagree. I'm a hundred fifty for show. Sure. I don't think so. You buying bottles? Yes. What? How many? No. No. Wait. You're not no, gonna no, listen, like that because you're no, saying you gotta no, go to work tomorrow. Listen, it, now if, we're, listen, I if we now, if I would have asked Friday night or Saturday night, maybe I'd give you that hundred fifty. I ain't giving you no hundred fifty on Sunday when you gotta work. No, if we eat and drink over there at the spot, we all buying rounds. Mm-hmm. I'm getting the crown rounds. I'm probably buying two of them. You, we're getting beer buckets. You're definitely right about the seven day at the first spot. I agree with that. Okay, but listen, we go if we go to address, the drinks are twenty dollars a piece in there. No, they not, man. <laughs> <laughs> Depend on what drink you order. No, no, you see, this is I'm Walker Blue and Lowe's. And, how much uh, drink? How Ron much some drinks is in, in the address? Don't let him do it. And most how much drinks is in the address? Dollars. You get around for maybe me in the address. So it's thirty three. So on thirty six, let's say twelve dollars. With gratuity? No, you ain't been out yesterday. Oh, with gratuity, they fifteen a piece, man. Okay, I'd have been around Lowe's as well, and Lowe's buy doubles. So that's twenty two dollars. Not in the address. <laughs> no, not edges. Because <laughs> they don't 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 they're fifteen. We get, we're getting one hooker and we're getting one drink because we already slapped from before. I don't know. That's, maybe, no, okay. Maybe you're yeah, right. It, but it, the, yeah, it's, it's still it's, cause we got to pay the park. Yeah, okay. Now you now, now here we, now there you go. Now you saying the right <laughs> shit. <laughs> That's going to be number one. I say one hundred fifty is a good number. One fifty. Yeah, so I say one fifty. So it's three hundred between both of y'all. Shit. Yeah. <laughs> we be out here. <laughs> I'm, I'm not hanging with y'all boys. I just saved so much money not going out with Al. It's ridiculous. Yeah, man, it's 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 a money saving um a money saving time of of year right now yeah. for everybody. I ain't got no haircut either. Bro. Yeah, Good. I mean, I think we need to have a little haircut challenge in a minute. I mean, I'm challenging both of y'all. Neither one of y'all need that cut, Roger. If you ain't already got it yet, um, you, you know what's crazy? I said I was getting a cut, not chickened out. I said I'm not about to go to the man house. <laughs> Mm-hmm. I don't know who been sitting there, man, about to hit me with blades. You know, and sometimes the barber cut you, and then he cut me. I got it. You know what uh-huh. I'm saying? Like uh, I'm not. No, I'm not. I'm not doing it. I'm they said. In mean, fact, we, let me we, tell you what made me feel. What makes me feel better is that we all in this struggle together, right? So I had a, I got a, I had yeah. a partner that hit me up today. He said, "Man, send me a picture of your head. Let me see oh. how you're looking. I'm gonna send you a picture of me." And he sent me a picture of himself. Mm-hmm. I sent him a picture of me, and it made me feel better that we all in this struggle together. Mm-hmm. 
hurting, boy. I worked out earlier today, straight jerry curl. My hair all yeah. just wet, <laughs> curly, <laughs> just juicy. For real? I'm yeah, like, oh, it's bad over here, boy. It's, 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 hey, man, but like you I said, ate, Rob, I hit my little beard hurt. up so I wouldn't be hurting too bad. I hit my beard up so I wouldn't be out there just just looking like looking like a thief. But Paul Pierce. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I had Ooh. to itch him up some. <laughs> I'm going to be yeah, honest but, with you. I actually kind of been in, you know, here's the bold statement of the week. Been waiting. I might, I might. I might uh I might try to do me. I'm gonna no. see what what'll happen. It don't matter. It don't hey. matter who else I'm gonna yeah. see. Who I'm trying to impress. I'm gonna be in the house. I'm, yeah, I'm about to just chill out. Just just hold off on that. I'm gonna give myself about a month that I'm gonna braid my own hair. <laughs> <laughs> you know you can learn off YouTube. Russell, they like it. Don't be Russell Westbrook in here, man. Stop it, man. <laughs> With a hole in the middle. When y'all think y'all getting back at it, man? Look, I mean, not, not, I mean, not even actually when, because y'all said y'all gonna give it some time afterwards. What's on your list of things to do when, when it, when the doors open back up and they say, "Hey, man, hey, man, y'all can get back at it, man." What y'all gonna do, man? What's the first couple of things you want to do? I'm probably me. I'm gonna pull up, go pick up my homeboy, and ride out somewhere. I don't know. I ain't really. I ain't, you know, I'm not a planned guy. I'm watching get my car wash. <laughs> And we're gonna ride. Somewhere. Like I said, I don't I don't I don't have no plans. Uh car washes are still open out here, like the drive through daddies. Mm-hmm. Um, so I can still make that happen. But yeah. I'm not uh, honestly, like this is gonna sound funny, but I just can't wait for Rex Sports to start back up. Mm-hmm. I can't mm-hmm. wait to go hoop. Yeah. Do you saw we got that message earlier today or yesterday they was asking uh Lo, she was on that text group. Well, yeah, hey, y'all man, good. Y'all good. Everybody good with the hooping, <laughs> man. You know how much it, you know how much it took me energy. It took me to not respond. I hey, I was laughing so hard because every time my text messages came through, I was waiting on your own brand response. I was like, thank <laughs> you. I was about to text you. Do not respond to that. I was, about I was to thinking. Say, oh, I know, you care he, about the know, boys now when you tried to give them all know, coronavirus. I, I know you had, you had to throw your phone in the trash so you could, uh, <laughs> so you wouldn't respond. So I wouldn't respond to that foolishness. No, you right. No, you right. You ain't wrong. Say, with er- you right. Everybody good. Everybody good. <laughs> and then boys like, man, I'm bored. I missed that gym. Hit, hit, hit. Wink, yeah. Wink. We go over yeah. back up to shoot around. It, keep man, it team. You know, <laughs> if you don't get your man, if we all use our own ball, but well, if you all use your own ball. Then Rona hands gonna be on every ball, and when it hit the rim, Rona and every, Rona, every, Rona every, rim, Rona, on Rona the backboard. backboard. <laughs> Unless every I'm Rona cool. net, you know what I mean? Get out Everybody got on gloves and a mask out there. That's and you got Rona sweat. I'm straight. I think the first thing I'm looking forward to, like you said, I, I might just I might collaborate and get a little crawfish ball daddy action going, and just be like, oh yeah, like let's that go, to, let's go to um, what you call it? Let's go to. The, uh, Eatos, like you said, get a car wash, mm-hmm. everybody outside yeah. so we're not sitting close yeah. to each other. Sit down yeah. and have some outdoor clowning with some drinks. I feel like that that could be a... Bring um, one of them hookahs. That'd be yeah. dope. You see, I just would hate to dap one of y'all boys up when it's all over and then die. <laughs> like, that's Damn. that's that's the worst that can happen. You know what I'm well, saying? Like, if, you, if you go on, if you go on, um, on Facebook, you're only going to die from 5G. So... Yeah, if you uh, but we put, told keep them last week about the five. Mode. We told them yeah. last week, and now it now it didn't blew up. Now everybody on the five G conspiracy. Yeah, like it's what crazy. type of business model want to kill your clientele? Hey, what, what? Look, we'll get into some Rona talk a little bit later. But look, right, let me tell ahead. y'all what burns my booty on this week. Not a lot of things burn my booty on this week, but a couple of things. The first thing that burns my booty on this week is people who have Acer computers for work. Hmm. I saw that on the drop down and I was wondering why. Uh, Acer computers are, and you know, normally I don't, right? So I, I let Raj and Los be privy to what burns my boot at this week. I normally else hide that so they can get a little bit of reaction in regards to, oh, okay, that's different. But yeah, Acer computers just suck. I've used them before um, and it's, it's a terrible computer. I don't know what's worse, a, uh, um, a Chromebook or an Acer, but both of them are pretty trash. And I don't think the people who use those computers suck. But I think occupations that give you an Acer computer, I think that that sucks. Mm. It burns my boot in. Like, like when I see it, I was, I'm like, was, you can't do yeah. stuff with it. Like, you, that computer Nothing. is trash. <laughs> I, I'll be I was, honest. I, I, I was about really to say had, that. No. My school I don't have district. Much experience. My school district tried to give us an Acer computer. They're like, hey, you can take a computer. I was like, and do what with it? <laughs> like, <laughs> Like the like, I don't even know the thing out of enter button, man. Like mm-hmm. it, it's, it's, it's 
It's super duper turned. Right. It still got the little red button in the middle of the keyboard that you got to mm-hmm. use. <laughs> to Just yeah. like the mouse? Yeah. The mouse the, the, the mouse dot? The mouse dot daddy. <laughs> the little mouse click. <laughs> that mouse dot was innovative at one point. It down, was. You know? it, mouse, it was. It was, it was like, oh, you got a mouse dot? A mouse oh, dot is like a, a black, like a blackberry. <laughs> right little, I, I never i never milk. i don't have much experience with the acer computers um i but i always I, what i don't like i'm tell you about this whole thing that burns my booty about it is i don't understand why acer and asus got to be so close you know phonetically why why did <laughs> why do why did somebody have to name a brand acer and someone had to name a brand asus like what's so good about there's the an asus computer yeah oh, asus, did, asus did is actually a pretty decent brand they had no for, uh for computers had no clue. So you, you thought I was going to say all. you hated the fact that it was Acer instead of Asus and they made it too close? No, no. I was. I thought you were going to say that Acer don't sell computers to black people or something like that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, they came That's, out with the 5G. 100% I was expecting, when I typed Acer into my Google searches, I was looking like, for something. Oh, you was looking Acer for something. Refuses. I got you. Acer changes... <laughs> Changes mouse dot to white instead. It used to be black. Like, like <laughs> no, but I mean, working in education, I, like teachers will come into my class all the time, and I'm like, bring your laptop. And whenever they bring the school issue laptop and it's an Acer, I'm like, oh shit, the image is not gonna load. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. it's, it's gonna be hey, some man, old. You, you, you can put that back up. You can go ahead. You can put that back I, in we got bag. some. We got some old garbage Chromebooks over there, but. They yeah, they at maybe. least surf the the net. You could get one of them. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> you gotta plug the Acer in, boy. <laughs> <laughs> it's a bad business, man. Not now that I say that, all of y'all can see Acers everywhere you go. Like, oh, they got an Acer. Oh, just feel bad yeah. for that person. Be like, oh, you going now? You go to somebody house. Be like, is that an Acer? You, did, you, did your job give Don't you do that? that? Don't do that. to People help. <laughs> no, no, the job no, didn't give me this. This was cheap. It was on sale. <laughs> <laughs> No, I, so I don't, I don't, great. I don't know what type of laptops like you you've bought throughout the years or been issued throughout the years, but I've always had good um, experiences with Toshiba, and I've always had bad experiences with HP. Mm. I never had an Acer or Asus, um, but I just looked it up. I was like, in in one of the one of the little questions, you know how like they got the little drop down questions on Google, and it says, "Is Acer a good brand?" A good, and mm-hmm. it says, "Acer laptops." Averaged a score of 3.4 stars. And I said, oh, that's not that bad. And then it goes on to say, the lowest of any brand we tested. <laughs> <laughs> so they obviously do so. I'm well. not making this up. They trash. I mean, like you said, Raj, all of my laptops before my MacBooks were Dell. Like it was, I just mm-hmm. went to Dell and made a laptop with the thing. Oh, I want a CD burn on it. Yeah. <laughs> I want a DVD <laughs> player. I got them a custom there to pimp you know my laptop. Oh, every time. Every time. All the way through. was there? When when I started doing that after college, it was always a Dell until I got my uh, my uh, MacBook. So I had a Dell, there. then I got a Toshiba. I get I get all my computers from the uh, barber shop. So <laughs> well, you need to ask for a MacBook next time. You, you get I, I'm waiting on them. I, t- I told them last last time I saw them. I told them I need a Mac a MacBook. That nigga don't need no MacBook. <laughs> 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 He need to do internet play. He don't need no yeah. <laughs> Your computer would be perfectly fine if you had more than a byte. <laughs> <laughs> One byte. <laughs> One byte. <laughs> you probably you probably hurting right now during that Rona, man. How that internet holding up for you, man? Uh, it's all right, man. Okay. Ain't the worst. I mean, yeah, it ain't, ain't the like worst. You. It ain't like you're doing a whole bunch of downloading and uploading things. But I would have thought for your video calls, it might have been tough for uh, for the gig. No, nah, it actually been working pretty good on the video call on the, on the Zoom and Google Dads. Okay, so maybe hey, you. maybe I'm right wrong when I'm wrong. Okay, so let me tell you another thing <laughs> that burned my boot out this week. Okay, so I did the thing with the people who got to go to work and they essential employees and they complaining about having to go to work and you know I did the thing right. Um, I got some kudos. I got some people inbox me like, yeah, my 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 cousin is a is a nurse. And she complaining about going to work. You a nurse. Go go nurse. Mm-hmm. This is what we need you. Um, you know, yada, yada, yada. So I had a lot of kudos. Then I had some backlash. People like, you know, doctors work hard. And just because they make a lot of money doesn't mean they should sacrifice their kids and their families. So it was a whole. Oh, don't I, go home. Yeah. Shit. So so I did that. 
Um, it's been long enough for me to come full circle to the other side and to have do my due diligence. So what burns my Buddha this week is people who bitching about, you know, working at home. You wanted <laughs> this. You want yeah. you, you you were complaining. You want to work at home. Hey. I want to work at home. Yes. I don't want to go to work. I mean, it's hey. it's Corona. I don't want to be in the way. Blah blah blah. But now you are complaining mm-hmm. every day about technology mm-hmm. online and how oh I gotta I gotta Zoom call and I gotta do this mm-hmm. and I gotta do that. I mean, I know it. Com- I complain about it to an extent, but I complain about the things around the periphery, like the other things involved with it, not the actual like oh I gotta use technology. Dude, yes. What did you think working from home was gonna be? <laughs> I think Sit in there. theory, I think in theory, people, the dude that you're talking to, uh, thought that it was gonna be. I'm going home. I'm going hop on that 2K. You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> going, like, no, but like seriously, like, yeah. oh, they about to pay me, and I could go play, like, do me. That's really what I think you know, people you know, thought. It's been uh, some of my coworkers have been calling me like the last two weeks to complain. I'm like, listen, man, you've been complaining for the last. Four or five years I've known you about how them kids get on your nerve and you're ready for it. You tired of these kids. Now you ain't got to deal with them for real every day. All you got to do is get on there and post stuff and have one or two Zoom classroom, the 15 minute lessons, 30 minute lessons a week. Like, you got boys to be the working at home. Close. Boys be working legit th- two hour weeks and complaining. Yeah. <laughs> like, why are you mad? And then my thing is, don't call me with it. I'm good. <laughs> like, I, I'm happy. <laughs> like, I'm straight. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I get up early, do what I'm supposed to do on my uh, thing, answer my stuff. I don't call me complaining to my oh, another meeting. Yes, another meeting. <laughs> <laughs> they don't. They, they don't require you to have your uh your you can, you can keep it on mute and you don't have to have your camera on. Why are you upset? I if don't you, understand. If you at the job and got to go to a meeting, you got to drive there. Yeah. You got to get there. Yeah. You got to be in a meeting around these people, looking at them in their face. Mm-hmm. When the meeting yeah. is over, you got to go sit back at your desk, do whatever you do, uh-huh. wait until yeah. the time, whatever. Yes. When you're at home, when that meeting over, uh, go take your shit. Go uh, eat breakfast. God, you can be eating breakfast while the meeting going, <laughs> cooking, working out. I was, I be doing push ups and sit ups while it's going on. <laughs> Just listening. Like I don't understand why everybody's so mad. I don't get it. I do not. Be like, hey man, I kept that. Don't call me with that. I don't want hear. I will. I will say on the, from the outside looking in, being being essential. Um, <laughs> you about, about to do the switch over? You about to do the switch over? No, 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 no. I'm actually not. I'm actually not. I'm, I'm, I'm. What I'm about to say is, is I'm, I'm kind of, um, I'm kind of like happy that I get to go and have some human interaction mm. because I know some people don't, and it's, and, I, and I've had, you know, of course, I still have like my off days, and I can't do anything. I can't do. So I just, I, I do. My heart really does go out to people that are just at home, not doing anything, like. Literally, maybe have to, like you said, two hour weeks. So maybe have to get on a call and then have nothing to do for the rest of the day. Like, and can't leave and whatever. The, the, the most exciting thing going on in my life right now outside of work is going to the grocery store. But, right. And that's it. Those aren't the people I'm talking about complaining per se. Like, those people, mm-hmm. if they're like, man, I really just want this human interaction, man, this is boring sitting at my house. I hate working mm-hmm. from home. That's different. You talking the about people the actual who, work. The people, yes, the people fussing about doing the work from home. That's like, all. That's that's my problem. Yeah. Don't complain about this little life stuff. Come like, on, oh my man. God, I can't believe we all got to download this app and then we oh. got to upload it to this and then I got to learn how to use Schoology. And then yeah. I got, like, come on. Why man. they want me to take a picture and uh, a 30 second video and tell the kids, hey, why I got to do that? Do it matter? It's 30 seconds. <laughs> 30 seconds. <laughs> like, come on, man. These are man. real complaints that I hear. Like, yeah, I mean, the comfort of your home. And I'm not going to pinpoint teachers, even though it sounds like I will. I'm going to say this about teachers. I, I like I, I went ham on parents on the podcast I did with Kristen. Y'all should go check that one out if you haven't already done no, that. Yeah, you, you, one on one. You you, you, you kind of and you call you call people kids dumb. I mean, <laughs> it's not, it's not everybody kids dumb, but some people gonna learn their kids dumb. My point. Yeah, is, but that, that boy say he gonna learn when you when you now you see your kid dumb and he just <laughs> no he said not smart and your kid is dumb and now now you understand what a teacher been talking about and the kid don't do nothing for you tell you no now what you gonna do? <laughs> it's like damn. He's like, no, you're the parent. It's your job. He went on the tangent, man. He got a good six minutes in there on him. Hey, that's not the point. I'm just saying this. About, <laughs> I'm just saying this. I was definitely on the educator side because I was going in on parents right there. But on the other <laughs> side of this, I'm going to say this about educators. You, you're absolutely right. Like, that's what I'm hearing. A lot of the feedback is a lot of educators said, I don't want to do this. I don't want to do that. But in reality, 
educators can be doing a ton more for their students Ooh, if yeah. if if and I mean that might be homeschool two hundred one. Like maybe we need to dig into that one. Um, Los and hop on that. But that's the educators can get online and say, "All right, this is what I got to do for the rest of the semester." All right, I'm gonna record myself on FaceTime or not even FaceTime. Mm-hmm. I'm just gonna record a video of myself on my phone talking about mm-hmm. an activity, talking about a lesson, and I, I'm gonna mm-hmm. record one lesson a day. Which, like you just mm-hmm. said, Los can take what an hour. And then if that, upload though, it. Really, no, if no, that. Yeah, like 40 minutes or whatever, like a regular yeah. class period, one class yes. period, then upload it to where all their kids can go look at they, them teaching that class period. And mm-hmm. parents all over the place would be like, okay, thank you very much. I appreciate it. Because now my child can sit at home and watch their teacher teach this and do whatever. Now, that mm-hmm. it's incumbent upon the parents to do something else. I mean, to, to like support <laughs> that. But teachers yes. can do more than that. I heard exactly what you said, Los, and I heard it from some teachers that they got to do like a thirty-minute class twice a week. What? Mm-hmm. Like really? That's what? That's that's yeah, all? That's that's yeah. all you got to do? And, but, and, and you get paid the same thing? Yeah. Same thing, though. And 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 you and you hit me complaining because I got to sit in on them, do the brain breaks, and I'm chilling. I don't have no issue. Right, <laughs> I got. But you, I'm sitting on four, three forties a day, and then I'm. I'm not, I think the thing that the parents have to understand is this. Now, out of a class of 45, 50 students, you only got four kids on the Zoom. <laughs> you know what well, I mean? Or the Google on, Classroom. It, it, it 100% depends on the school district and where you're at. Because yeah, I heard this, I the agree. same stories from affluent school districts where they're saying that every kid is on there. Yeah, I was about to say that. I've, yeah, I've seen, I've heard those same stories where every, the whole classroom's on there. It just depends on where you are. <laughs> but, early. you know, but my thing, yeah, but my but my thing is this, though. If it's three kids, so what? That all mm-hmm. that mean them three kids ought to be smart as hell going the, the next school year. Like, mm-hmm. It's really, I don't, I, you know, for me, I, I don't have not one complaint. <laughs> I, ain't tri- well, I ain't tripping at all. Well, you know, that 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 did, um, it touched a nerve. But let me let you know the last thing that burns my boot at this week. Shout out, man. This podcast is brought to you by Gramstar 30. My man's hit me up this week and said, hey, bro, you want to do a little pot, potluck or something on Easter? I know we can't, our whole family can't be here, but maybe we link up, uh, make a dish, bring some dishes together, meet him, Ash Dog Forever. Have us a little mm-hmm. meal on Easter. I said, bruh, that's not how social distancing works. I'm ready Damn. to, I'm ready. No, and I mean, I hear y'all and I mean, whatever. Say, I'm saying it out loud. Like, no, I'm not mad at you. I'm, I'm just saying ready. Like, that's just harsh. But it's, it's facts though. Yeah, yeah Like I'm ready to go back to I my agree. regular life, right? Mm-hmm. And I can't go back to my regular life if people are like, uh, you know what? I'm just going to go hang with my, my family this week because it's Easter. And it got me to mm-hmm. think it. What burns my boot at is people are just like, fuck it, it's Easter. I'm just, we're not going to social distance. And it's going to happen this weekend. It's oh, going to definitely. happen. Most Corona definitely. is going to spike this weekend. Well, I, as long as you if, you, if you have a gathering of five, I think you might be all right. Mm-hmm. But when you got 15, 20 people, like down the street from my house is a park, it is 45. They got to close, they gotta close that damn part. They got to close every it's part. For, it's 45 is raised out there right now. I just got through working out before we hopped on here. Uh, I couldn't even go to the park. Like, I'm not going there. So I had to run the streets. Like, I'll get on the streets and do my little stuff. But I'm like, dog, it is 45 y'all here playing soccer. Literally. I counted them. <laughs> like, come on, dog. That's how we... It's, one, it's 15 of y'all got it out there. Can, can I... I I'm, I'm really... Oh, man. I had something that I could link that to later. But... You probably could play okay. soccer. <laughs> <laughs> you cannot play soccer. No, you still bumping and hitting. You got to just you got to play against non-contact. But I mean, you can play kickball. No, I mean, you're bre- no, you're still I'm breathing. You're still soccer breathing. Soccer is literally football. Like it is the. You know what I'm saying? Like you still have bumping and. If the boys had masks like on. No, they was at their barefoot, dog. No shirts on. It was wild. Well, I mean, if that's the case, you can play. I, you no. can play who you can who? No, nope, because you got to touch the no, ball with your no hands. Post. No post. No post. No post game. You got to touch the ball with your hands. Nope. <laughs> what I mean? So, okay. That, so, that means your feet, your, your feet got <laughs> corona then. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <the ball. laughs> it hit your leg. Your leg got it. No, no. Okay, okay. I, I got on a tangent. But full circle, I'm probably going to try to link up with Graham stuff because I thought about it. Everybody's going to do it. Everybody's yeah. going to do it. <laughs> It's just, I'm just, it's burning my boot at that I already could see it coming. Raj, what do you think about this Easter in that Rona? I mean, so the only thing is it just it saddens me because Easter is that one day that you could wear colors like lavender and, <laughs> and lilac and, and uh, pink and whatnot. You know what I'm saying? And like, really, really, really okay. do, do a, fire, a fire challenge might be good for Easter. Easter clothes challenge. 
<laughs> yeah, what you was gonna wear for yeah. Easter challenge. Yeah. Um, yeah. So that's that's the only thing that kind of you know, and it's that day you go to you know you go to church, you know you go back home, you know what I'm saying. You, it's it, that's the only aspect of it I'm missing out on. I don't have any plans of hanging out with anybody, and man, you know, I, man, I, I guess in my mind, maybe, and I can be, my mind can be changed. Um, you know, if someone close to me, like a brother, would have hit me up and was like, "Man, let's let's get together and have some dinner," but still, maybe kind of social distance a little bit, like, I, you know what I'm saying? We we're not gonna sit on each other's lap, and I, I probably would consider it. Oh, I'm going by ET eat some crawfish, so. Uh, my sister house used to crawfish. I told him if you invite more than just me, I ain't coming. But he like, nah, it's just gonna be. We only get one set, so I was like, cool, I'll be there. But like I said earlier in the podcast, I just would hate y'all. My y'all, my brothers. I would hate to dap one of y'all boys up, and y'all, you know, y'all sitting there asymptomatic, you know, mm. and and I and I and I perish. Well, I mean. We, I think, we I would also hate to eat some of your macaroni and cheese and perish as well. I, so, well, true. I mean, like, even if it's small groups, y'all could come. I'm gonna tell y'all what John Murray can't come. So let's turn to this. <laughs> <Royal Talks>. oh. <laughs> oh. Ooh, what is wrong with? Oh, this dude here, yeah, man. Say, bro, you gotta lie, dog. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta lie. <laughs> You gonna be a hey, man? Do to you? Nah, he gonna regret that when when outside open back up. <laughs> and now, Rona talk. Rona talk. Rona talk. Rona talk. Rona talk with Aldo Nice, Raj Smooth, and Los AKA CAP. So the um the Rona Talk song, obviously, man, go follow Mark Riblet, Ribellet, Riblet, whatever his name is. That dude is funny. M A R C R E B I L L E T. That's the dude who did the quarantine. Fight. But he got a whole bunch of other little tracks like that. I really love mm-hmm. it. But look, let's talk about some Rona Talk this week. Um, we already kind of got into it. You talked a little bit about um, we said something about soccer. I want to say this. Something was sent out by the Iberia Parish president. Um, and it was sent out this week and it basically said, I bury parish president, Larry Richard, um, added additional orders to protect the public from COVID-19 virus. Here is what it means for you. Only one individual and one shopping cart per family will be allowed in stores. Stores will only be allowed to have 20% of their fire marshal approved occupancy in the store at one time. All stores must close at 8 PM. 24 hour mm-hmm. pharmacies are allowed to remain open by drive through services only. Convenience stores, gas stations will close at 8 p.m., but may sell fuel until 10 p.m. Hmm. Um, there remains a car- parish ride curfew from 10 p.m. to 5 a.m., and golf courses are allowed to operate, but participants must practice social distancing and That's only allowed one person per cart. Oh, so we can go play golf then. I, I, listen, I, I just gave y'all, listen, y'all tell me what you think thinking. I Both play of y'all golf. play golf. Both of y'all play golf, so tell me about it. What do y'all think? I, golf courses should be open. In fact, this podcast is brought to you by CNH. CNH literally has been playing golf every, every day. single day. Mm-hmm. And I don't hate it because you, I mean, literally between you and your crew and the next crew, it's the distance of the green to the tee. So that that's 300 plus yards. That's enough Sometimes, social yeah. distancing. Yeah, I mean, into oh. when you hit the ball, you're not right up on each other. You know, maybe at the tee box, you can, you can, you suppose, I mean, you have to be six feet back so you won't get hit in the face with the ball at the golf club. So, I mean, I think golf is like the the, the social distancing sport. I also Before take back game. my exclamation of, of one person per court. You shouldn't be going play golf with a crew anyway, right? Like, we shouldn't have the best friend weekend golf tournament coming up soon. Uh, <laughs> it should just be me and, like, a close friend. And we can still social distance very well playing golf. No, you can, you can social distance court. if everybody had their own cart. Yeah, mo- most of Until you get on the green. One cart per person, I'm with it. I'm not mad about that. Um, So, obviously, a lot of people read that. And, well, there's a lot of things on here. Um, One of the things that I think is interesting is that they're like a curfew. What does a curfew do 
for coronavirus. Like it get worse later on at night. That's now. that's that's the question, right? Um, yeah. <laughs> like it it matters. Like you don't live in the light. Four a.m. Yeah. These get worse. These are the these are some um some some in at some. I don't know inconsistencies. You can only sell mm-hmm. gas till ten p.m. Like people can't get gas after ten p.m. Oh, because they're not supposed to go nowhere. I I mean I get it, I get that part, but whatever. And I mean if I, I, I own a gas station this day and age, I'm not shutting my machines off. Mm. Come get your gas. Well, I mean the other thing is that a, a bunch of people um are looking at that as a racial thing. That golf mm-hmm. is a sport um, primarily played by non African Americans and his non minorities and. Mm-hmm. Y'all can still go to the country club and you can still go to the golf club and it's fine. Yeah. However, yeah. what what um black people choose to do, you can't do. What do y'all say to that? What's what black people choose to do? Whatever go sport. Whatever sport. <laughs> yeah, I mean, no, I was, I mean, yeah, I was talking about sports, obviously. I mean, that, I, I mean, think I, black people just this is a good time, you know, for a lot of things. It's probably a good time to buy stocks and it's probably a good time for black people to get into golf. So, just get into golf. <laughs> golf ain't is not you just can't go anywhere and just pick up and get in the golf number one you need some clubs clubs are expensive golf is an expensive sport bro just, I've bought clubs off eBay for 99 cents you don't need Titleist oh, brand new Tiger yeah. Woods clubs go get you, you some cheap clubs and learn how to play golf you are or, terrible. or try you are terrible um yeah but I, I feel like you know eh, golf is not contact sports so you're really not chewing and spitting and you know touching the same balls you know what I mean? So I mean, it really is social distance for the most part in golf. On the time you're not social distance, maybe on the green. I kind of got a little excited when I heard you say how chewing and spitting and touching the same balls. Right? That kind of <laughs> pause. felt like a, felt like a thing. Oh, I didn't mean from you pause. doing it, but I. You <laughs> <laughs> stupid, bro. What's wrong uh, no, with you? but you're gonna do it. Oh uh, yeah, right. The um, I mean, then people would be like, "But they're doing NASCAR. They're doing horse racing." I mean. I, I'm just I just asked you guys the question because I'm interested to know your your response. My immediate mm-hmm. response was that it's probably a very low um likelihood of passing coronavirus in golf, just like race car driving is probably a very low I mean maybe, maybe not. The pit crew sits around each other, so maybe you can't do it for that reason. And mm-hmm. um I threw out like, you know, there's a lot of other sports like horse racing, if we just go get your horse, bring your horse out here. But I guess they'd be all up on top of each other when they come through the turn. But whatever the yeah. case is, I mean, there are some sports and and it just so happens is it that just, it lends itself to these non what is it non athletic sports. If I say it mm-hmm. that way, they sure. they lend themselves better to not touching people and doing stuff yep. like yeah. I is mean, it just me or does the pit crew have helmets? They, like, I think so too. The pit crew, they and do. I think they all got gloves on this shit. Too. Yeah, <laughs> right. They got like full garb on, like literally, like they from their head to their toes. But maybe we don't covered. know because I can't even. I can't picture. I can't close my eyes and picture um, race car driving. <laughs> I can't. I don't I mean, even know. Who's so what? Doing. I, what I will say. What I will say is I'm not. So golf is is a is a pastime, mm-hmm. right? Like it's something that people do. Uh, NASCAR. I have no interest in NASCAR, but just the thought of it. I don't think that there should be. I think NASCAR should just go on as as scheduled. I, I don't. Of course, I can see like, oh, the mask. Well, I don't know. Maybe maybe golf should go on as scheduled as well, like professional golf, just no fans. Put it on TV, and that'll give me at least something to watch. Not watching it. Let's get to. Uh, <laughs> let's, only, we're gonna only watch Tiger. You man. didn't watch the Masters this past, like when Absolute, Tiger won it. No, 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 no. Damn. Okay. Nope. I, I, I watched some of it the, the last there's, round. There's a difference between watching stuff and. Turning the channel to see when Tiger's on, like this. Okay, <laughs> like, right, click, that's what I did. Click, clicking over is Tiger doing it? Nope, go back. Nope. <laughs> to so, well, well, but but the thing is, the thing is, when you at this point in time, when you clicked over, Tiger was doing it. Mm-hmm. So like, it wasn't just like, oh shit, Tiger won the Masters. It was for me at least. It was oh damn, Tiger's got a chance to win the Masters. So let me stay tuned and witness history. I feel like that was a year ago. Uh, whenever it was. No, I mean, I, mean I feel like the Masters is like in April, and I feel like it's, I think that <laughs> Masters comes right after March Madness. So the Masters probably should have been this weekend or some foolishness like that. I'm yeah, pretty sure of that. Well, yeah. No, I'm just I'm Maybe saying that to say that of. time is just flying right now. Is all I'm saying. Like that that sure. felt like earlier this year too, but I feel like that was damn near a year ago. Um, so some other things that I definitely want to talk about with the uh, Rona talk this week is one is. Listen, this whole thing about black folks being immune 
to coronavirus that y'all been running for for the longest. It's time for Come to on. kill that man. Um, they listen, reversed I, it and said we. Oh, go ahead. African Americans are have the by percentage um, have the highest amount of coronavirus mm-hmm. deaths. Um, they make up black people make up twenty six percent of the population in Milwaukee um, County, Wisconsin, seventy three percent of the deaths. In Louisiana, mm-hmm. they make up 32% of the population, 70% of the deaths. In That's D.C., 26, 46%, 58% of the deaths. Michigan, 14%, 41% of the death. Illinois, 14%, 42% of the deaths. Chicago, 32%, 67% of the deaths. North Carolina, 21% of the population, 38% of the deaths. And it's more than the average in Florida and Connecticut as well. Um, they, I saw another thing that was just talking about uh, by states, and I'm not sure exactly what percentage of deaths may, where this exactly one was. Oh, it's Louisiana. Mm-hmm. It said 70.5% of the people who died um, were black, 28%, 28.6% were white, and 0.9% were Asian. And I thought this was the Chinese virus, but they're not dying yeah. from it because it's from China. China, but they're not they're not dying from it. We are so uh, not over here anyway. Let me let me tell you something, Al. What I think you just said was very powerful, and I think that it was deep. This is why, because I want to know what percentage of people of of ethnicities get their news strictly from Facebook, mm-hmm. because this this is exactly what we preach every single podcast to. You know, like check the sources. Mm-hmm. So, some like, it, do you do you feel like these high percentages have anything to do with people putting the news out that like black people can't catch it? Like, do you think that that would skew Listen, the numbers? I said so it's like, oh, I can't cap it, I can't catch it, so I'm doing me. I said the uncle um, earlier in this podcast, and I'm gonna double down on this. The uncle had on his story not three weeks ago this whole thing about how black people got a, a lower level of um, protein pump. Yeah whatever in they in their blood and because african blood has that that's why we're less susceptible oh, to catch covid19 and it was this whole hotel shit and i was like and i responded I to him that. And I, I, said, that. I was like man that, that's stupid but i mean it was before coronavirus was blowing up it was right after best friend weekend but i was like man that's mm-hmm. stupid take that down and it's like i see so, i saw it so much i saw it so much mm-hmm. and like right just it's it's a correlation absolutely i don't think it's a purposeful correlation of oh man let's make black people un like safe so that they die from coronavirus i think it's just somebody started a rumor and then boom black people quick to just repost something and not believe like if you're gonna repost something from 2016 today talking about trump said but he said it in 2016 you you're willing to repost any kind of foolishness that just sounds like i hate that i hate it i hate it so i, I feel mean, you and and i yeah, I mean that's I just I just wanted to know how you felt about it because I think it's a after after what you said, yeah, I, I I agree. I think if that if that if it is true or if that is, I think it's more so that is is, is a community or is ethnic race or race. We don't like black people don't really be in the doctor like that either. You know what I'm saying? So we we might have more pre existing conditions than a lot of other people too. If that's real, or those numbers are real and not skewed. So I mean. You know, if we get we get a cold, no, those, numbers, at home. those numbers not those numbers not skewed, bro. Those, that's that's uh, well, straight. Well, okay, we 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 got we got pre existing, and we know we we get we start coughing and stuff. We will sit at home and be like, oh, I'm gonna just take this, or I'm gonna put some Vicks right up my nose. I'll be all right. I done heard old people say that. You know what I'm saying? Like my mother got sick right when the stuff hit, and I kept telling her to go to the doctor and get tested. She stayed at home and just was sick. You know what I'm saying? So. I black folk, you know, we we just we just we do different. We just different when they come to going to the doctor. Well, you African Americans have higher rates of diabetes, heart disease, and lung disease, and I mean that's 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 everybody that's, knows that. That's, and yeah, that's, those, every, that's everything that the disease yeah, needs. The coronary it needs. makes it more vulnerable to mm-hmm. to like to being severe complications from this disease yeah. based upon those type of things. So yeah, it, it made sense that black people would be more susceptible to this, but it's yeah. just. I, I, I don't get it. I don't get how the black community just willfully was like, oh, man, black we, people can't, can't get, get it. it. Like, I saw I saw a video. What's his name? Um, Yellow Beezy. Do, that's his name? Yellow Beezy? Yeah, with the, with the, the shag and the black from Dallas? Yeah. Yeah. And him, him and he was calling his mama talking about, I'm real black. I ain't I ain't like Rudy Gobert. He he from somewhere. I mean, it's just, I don't know. It's willful. Boosie said the same stupid shit. Boosie said, I want to get it. You know how much money you can get paid for that? 
What? Come well, you know on, the thing about Boosie is he got all the pre-existing conditions, so he need to sit down like him, <laughs> tr- him, Trick Daddy, the Cotton from, Mouth, uh, Mob, ugly. Mob Deep, all of them. Yeah. They need to, they need to go, go sit down. <laughs> T-Boz don't need to catch them. Oh, yeah, they man. got a, they got a no, bunch T-Boz. of T-Boz, little flip. <laughs> they don't need to catch. I feel like Mike I feel Jones. Like, uh, I feel like Biz Marquis would struggle too. And, sh- and shout out to, to nah. uh, Big Chief. I saw he posted a video of like you know, uh, you know, teaching little man how to beatbox. Shout out you know, Big Chief. Like, what? He, you know, that Rona could come through that five G. Rona might come through that TV, man. I, I don't. I don't know if I want to be around uh, Biz Marquis right now. He gonna be spitting through the screen. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, his lips Straight through there. his mask. <laughs> yeah, <man. laughs> They got yeah. I mean, I don't know. It's just it's it's a thing, and I think that I was watching a um a special. I don't know what it was called, but it was on um HBO. It was on a movie channel. I'm lying to you. If I say it definitely was on HBO, I'd be lying to you. But it was on how um this how you can fix elections and stuff. And the guy was a Democratic strategist, and he went through and basically made a page for um it's it's a it's a it's a this is a long story, but let me. I'm gonna try to make it as straight line as I can. Uh, Roy Moore was in the special election in like 2017, running in Alabama, and he lost. I know this mm-hmm. for a fact because Roy Moore was my dad's like sergeant while he was in the army in Vietnam. So my dad like he's like, oh yeah, I know Roy Moore, but he always been like you know whatever. They said they even called him like to to say nice words about Roy Moore like when he was running for it. But Roy Dang. Moore is kind of like this racist. Um, he he pushes racist policies in Alabama, so it's a whole thing, right? They was going back mm-hmm. way to Vietnam, like tell us some good things about Roy Moore. So yeah, I, that know, kind of say, I ain't got nothing to say about that. <laughs> nah, he he wanted he wanted to hop on there and be on TV and shit. My mama told him, you better, <laughs> better not say nothing about no Roy. But anyway, um, the the show on HBO was talking about how the dude made fake accounts and pretended to be. A, uh, a Republican and was like putting all of these things like, yeah, we want Roy Moore because we want to get alcohol out of um and make Alabama dry again because we conservatives and we Christians. And he made all these fake accounts that pretended like he was a supporter, but made him look so mm. overboard that people yeah, were like, like, man, I don't want right to vote. Yeah, I don't know. People was like, I don't want to vote for him. Like, oh. I don't want to vote for him. Like, I'm a, I'm a Republican, but I don't want to vote for somebody who want to take the drink, take li- liquor out of Alabama. I'm not vote- like so. It was a whole bunch of little things that people can, they can really influence what people do with social media. Is what I was That's coming crazy, full circle man. to say. I don't think that blacks not having coronavirus was a was a planted story to make us not be wary of it. But I do think it's. I think black people believe pretty much damn near anything they see on social. Not black people, but just yeah, older people. I don't know, man. Us. I think they believe anything they see that put us in power. Like oh, or you know, something just mm. wild. Like anything wild, they put us in mm. power. Like oh, we hey. we too good to get that. Now finally, yeah. we got so everybody talking that. They, yeah. yeah. So then they came with the five G. Now here we go. <laughs> <laughs> So, I mean, yeah, you're right. You're right. It's, if it ain't what she was saying, that you said melanin is hilarious. <laughs> this, this, you're so dumb. <laughs> it is. We got melanin that protects us from our skin. If if Corona get on our skin, it can't unless live. It touch the, unless it touch the palm of our hands, because they white. But if it touch the blacks, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. it die instantly. We good. We good. Mm-hmm. Um, so yeah, another thing I want to talk about was Zoom bombing. If you guys haven't been aren't familiar with that, it's just uninvited attendees breaking into and disrupting your Zoom oh, meetings. Um, that, and basically, they say it can be easy hilarious. to Zoom bomb a meeting. Let me tell you something: how you can Zoom bomb a meeting. They say all people got to do is Google search for URLs that contain Zoom.us, and it's gonna come up with a whole bunch of unprotected links from multiple meetings that anyone could just jump into. Um, similarly. Links to public meetings can be found scattered across organizational pages on social media. Ain't That's that like crazy. the craziest thing? Like, but it's true. Like when you yeah. your job sends you a Zoom or when you send a Zoom request to like your family members, it's just Zoom.us. They don't ever ask, oh, what's the, the meeting code password? So if you get it, you can hop but in. Y- you know what's funny about that? Mm-hmm. I didn't set, I don't know, I don't know why. I didn't set I actually had brunch through Zoom the other day. Brunch brunch date through Zoom the other day. And um I didn't set this but it did ask for a password. Mm. Maybe this was post Zoom, the Zoom bombing phenomenon. No, they, they're asking a lot of what? people to do that now. Yep. 
But the thing is, is I think I think there was probably some in- immediate backlash, and they just auto assigned it. Mm. That's what it felt like because I didn't. It was very weird, and the person that I had I zoomed with, the person I zoomed with is an avid. And what day was that? Mer. This was Sunday. Okay, so Saturday I did it, and I didn't need a password. So maybe they maybe they did it overnight on Sunday. I mean, like possibly. It's a possibility. It's possibly. There's a possibility. If I would have said Friday, then we would have had a problem. We would have. They might have. Somebody might have. They wrote them and was like, no, ain't no, 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 no passport. Yeah. <laughs> they got a little kid in Connecticut who got arrested for like Zoom bombing his class with some wild shit. So, uh, but it, crazy. a lot of people said that they're doing it with like racist stuff. Like people are Zoom bombing, and if they see black people, they come in with a whole bunch of racist. Damn stuff That's, like sending. I feel like, like how you know, bored you, are you though? Yeah, yes. like if you hop in a Zoom meeting, you can share your screen. So like they, somebody said they like somebody hopped in a meeting and just shared their screen, and porn. it was like a bunch of porn on it. Yep, mm-hmm. it was that big black dude that gets sent. <laughs> oh, <whatever. laughs> oh, the Jurassic Park. Yeah. Right. <laughs> or they'll post a picture of some watermelon in or something like that. Watermelon. <laughs> watermelon. <laughs> watermelon. <laughs> stop it! Stop it! Stop it! Um, so yeah, that's a, so just be on the lookout for Zoom bombing, man. Y'all out there while you're doing Zoom things with your family for Easter or with your, your friends for your um, happy hours or whatever, virtual meetings or whatever, just put a little password. It's not that difficult to do and it'll stop you. Um, the last thing that's been happening, I mean, it's kind of, it's like one thing starts, another thing stops. It was like the DJ is doing their thing and now it's been like the battles, um, Manny Fresh and Scott Storch was like last week. Um, and then it's like, they still got the people with the social media. Like, I mean, it's just a lot of stuff going on in, in the Rona time that people are being creative, but your boy, mm-hmm. um, Los, Tory Lanez, he hey. got blocked, huh? Hey, hey, Tory Lanez, he, 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 I think he might've had boosted B. He had all the stars on here. That boy no, he did. Like- he had the... He had 350,000 yeah, on his say, live at yeah, work. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and and Drake, yeah, Drake popped in on that boy shit. He had, uh... He had uh, what's the, the um, uh, what you call it, baby? Uh, Wiz Khalifa, baby mama on there. He had like he, he be having stars on his. He ain't, like Boosie shit got wild like one or two times when them girls eating each other. But Tory Lanez be having a consistent basis. Like he had a girl had a. What's the same idea? Vagina. It's just women. It's just women like go, getting naked on his thing. Is that what get, it is? Twerking, twerking, getting naked, doing whatever. He had a chick put a sparkler in her stuff in front of some of her kids. Okay, like, that was what she was talking about. Oh, that was, that was the other that dude. Video. That was the other dude. But um, I saw that video. But he, that's a wild. Yeah, that was too, super wild. But Tory Lanez, he has been going up, 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 up. What he, is he? He's man, I don't the same know. Put him in he jail had Trina on this shit too. They put him in jail for in social media jail for a week. He can't. He can't go on I, uh, live for a week. They did look Tory Duval Lanez, the same way. Tory Lanez burns my booty. <laughs> I don't like how he look and sound. I don't like it. And so I so I never been. If I saw Tory Lanez was going live, I would not. I wouldn't. I wouldn't join. I like. I like. I like the way Tory Lanez rap. I don't like the way he look. I'll play ball though. Nah, neither one of <laughs> oh, those. God. Neither one of those. Tory Lanez and Michael Kid Gilchrist uh, from the same tribe. <laughs> <laughs> but a nah, shorter I, tribe. A shorter I was able to say tribe. like he. Yeah, of course. <laughs> he from the he from the Corona tribe. But I think yeah. I mean, listen, you can't you can't have like you can't honestly think you can have all that going on on live, and them folk not gonna shut you down. Right, you know what I'm saying? Like Ladoo, I got shut out. You know he do. Uh, he does uh, like a little workout in the morning. He'd be like five minutes. He'd be like start at nine thirty. If you stay, if you come on at nine thirty five, you gonna miss it. <laughs> so he be smoking weed. Like he was doing one that was like the all shit they shooting exercise. So he'd be feeling like he's shooting dice, and he go pop pop pop. You hit the run out the screen. He said, "Okay, we got that's one set." He would do it again. Like and he would be smoking weed the whole time. Like <laughs> Ladoo, I just be doing stupid shit. But they shut him down too. I think he had uh, for his little song "Nasty." He had a couple t- uh, chicks on that twerking a couple times. I saw that nasty that. video a couple of weeks ago. That thing was thing was nasty. It was, <laughs> that, man. It was on brand. It was on brand. Nasty, and then we going yeah. again. Nasty. nasty. I don't want it if it's not nasty. <laughs> yeah, but but, we, but um, yeah, man, you, you just can't have all that. I mean, my thing is all the bartenders, strippers, um. You know, street walkers. Everybody at home right now. We talked bored. about it. We talked about it last yeah. week. That they gotta mm-hmm. find something to do to try to yeah. to get money. That video with that woman with the sparkle that you was talking about. That's that that hurt my heart a little bit because when the camera moved, obviously somebody was holding the camera. She's yeah. doing that illicit, yeah. explicit sexual act on the bed, 
And yeah. then the camera pans and you see a old, another chick sitting down there with yeah. two babies on her lap. And like, the little boy was just looking like... Somewhere. Yeah, and little boy like, the... I mean, yeah. she's literally doing that to get money. And it looked yeah. like that she was in a hotel room. So I'm like, mm-hmm. God, yeah, that people is out here struggling right now. She that must need that money bad. That's what I was thinking in my head. She need that money real bad. They usually work in the sex work industry, like however that works. I mean, <laughs> the sex no, I'm serious. work industry. That's what they call it. Sex work is sex work is a thing, dog. It's the oldest profession. I didn't know that. I just never heard nobody articulate it that way. I wonder. If they, I wonder if somebody went on like I don't know what the sites are nowadays. They shut down all them sites that people used to go to. I, I heard. I mean, I never. Yeah. Anyway, um, I wonder if those people on them sites where you can call uh, and get like an escort. I wonder if the escorts are like, nah, I'm not coming. <laughs> they got that Rona. Uh, it depends on who like, their pimp is. Or they depends on who the pimp it. is. The pimp is like, bitch, fuck that Corona. Ho. I need my money. Mm. Possibly, bro. Yeah, I think I think they still they still practicing sex work. <laughs> 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 they practice crack. They gonna practice sex work. <laughs> <laughs> they practice. Ain't no social distance, bitch. <laughs> but you, but that seemed like a Rona carrier. If I ever see one, you can't come to my house. You I mean, listen, everywhere. If, if you if, if you do se- everywhere, yeah. So if you, but I'm saying if you do sex work, I feel like you ought to be a, immune to Corona by now. Because you got to realize you'd have, you'd have been in, you know, you'd have been in. You, like you get the most germs out of even more than the teacher with kindergarten. Like you, you, you right? You, you a germ uh, mama? All that penicillin coursing through your veins. You should be. Yeah. You should be okay. You yeah, should be str- you will be good. <laughs> She's going to say, nah, hey, you need to worry about yourself. <laughs> so you were just talking about Tory Lanez and Blue Boots and all of them. But man, it's a, that that boy Rumble got me on um, Say Cheese TV. So I've been following that on um, Insta. Mm-hmm. And it's a whole bunch of stuff. And he got me on like Louisiana T. So he got me on a couple of them that I'm seeing things that I don't norm- hadn't normally seen. So two people that's been like on my on my line. Well, three people actually. They've been on my line a lot. Los, I'm going to give you about a, about a minute. Give me the one minute synopsis of Young Chop. Let me know something, man. Why is he a thing? Man, I, I you know, all Young Chop do is go on live and troll to me. Like he just be talking crazy. Like he just bringing up a whole bunch of people. I didn't. I, I just really. I didn't know. Like I've been watching before that. I didn't know he had an album coming out. Like he put. A, he dropped an album on which kind nobody's gonna listen to. I don't think. Nobody but, jam. Uh, huh? <laughs> but it jam. Go Probably ahead. So. But um. <laughs> Yeah, but the thing about it, he just, he just get on live talking crazy about whatever. You know what I'm saying? He ain't he like talking about Twenty One Savage a bitch. He a bitch. Oh, Mika Ho. He ain't he ain't like that. The niggas with him, I know them niggas. They real, but he ain't like that. Like he just talking crazy about everybody on live. Uh, you know, I I don't know if he gay or not though. Honestly, he be having some little feminine little face, some little faces. But but he in jail not for uh firing his gun outside his house. Did, oh, they locked him up for that. Yeah, he was. He was. Well, he went live in jail the other day. Stop it! Hmm? Stop it! Is that a real thing? I'm dead serious. Okay, so basically, this is why he's he's famous. I, this is why I remember seeing Young Child Noisy on um Vice, on Vice Land. <laughs> T- like that show. No- you know what I'm talking about? No, obviously you don't because you left. <laughs> no, I don't. Okay, so Noisy is a show that comes on Vice Land, and they'll they'll pick a city, and it's like. They'll show you like all of the rap scene from that city. So they had like Atlanta. They didn't did, with like with like, um, and it's like a little corny little white dude, and he go to the different places. But he was in like Atlanta with with all them boys um, from QT. Um, is that what they call? No, QCP. What are they called? Los, help me. Oh, it's um, QC Coach Quality K-Dow. Control. QC. Yeah, there you go. Um, mm-hmm. They had them boys all on there, and then they did an episode in Detroit. They did the episode in L.A. with Kim Oh, we talking about with the dude? Oh, no, that was a drug, that was a drug one on Vice. Never mind. Just look it up. I mean, look it up, Los. Um, go I to Vice, Vice internet page. And even mm-hmm. if you haven't, you haven't seen all the episodes, go check no, it out. They do one in Nigeria. It's dope. It's like mm-hmm. rappers in the element. But on okay. the Chicago the Chicago episode, uh, that's the first time my son, Young Chop, he was on there. And it was like, Young Chop is a producer for, uh, what's his Chief. name? For Chief Keef. Chief Keef. Chief yeah. Keef. Yeah, he was Chief Keith producer, and he was on there like in a little house with guns with dude. I mean, Chicago, real Chicago esque, mm-hmm. like stereotypical Chicago drill music, yeah. the whole nine. So I was like, oh, he's just a a really big dude who looked like he kind of he looked corny to me, like a mm-hmm. corny dude who just kind of whatever. So I didn't know he was special because he looked special there to me on all mm-hmm. the videos I've been watching. I, 
That's all I can. I can't unsee him looking special ed. Man. Yeah, I, I mean, maybe I was mistaken. Uh, punk for I mean uh, homosexual for special oh. ed. My bad. LG, what's the letters again, right? It, it, I can't get them. Woo! LGBT four five. LGBT LGBTQA. I2S plus. <laughs> that sounds like a fire phone. Is that really what it is now? Yeah, let me give it to you. Lesbian, gay, bisexual, transgender, queer, asexual, or ally. You can be an ally. Mm-hmm. Intersex or two spirited. <laughs> <laughs> plus so the next things they come If you want, with. I could give you quick I could give you quick definitions. Go ahead. Hey, I'm I'm really really I'm, I'm, we here for it. I'm here for yeah. it. Yeah. All right. So a lesbian is, of course, a female who is sexually attracted to the same gender. Hey, girl. Gay, a male or female who is sexually attracted to the same gender, often male. Bisexual, someone who is attracted to both males and females. Transgender, someone who does not identify as their birth gender. Queer, it's an umbrella term for binary, non-binary related people. Asexual or ally. Asexuality is when someone is not sexually attracted to people. Mm -hmm. And the term ally explains itself. Weird. Intersex, someone who is born with a body that is not fe- fe- uh, male or female. I don't know what that is. A monkey. Uh, and then two... two sp- Lowe's. Right, Lowe's, come on, man. <laughs> two, two-spirited is a term to describe indigenous people who have two spirits, male and female. Uh, I get indigenous oh, there's more. To, like, oh, there's more to come. Mm-hmm. Oh, that's that why the plus, plus is like I, dot, dot, dot. I told y'all the plus mean we can add this shit and we get ready. <laughs> hey, man, it's, 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 hey, I mean, I, I've heard the term two-spirited before in, in, in this context before, like Native American things like, oh, I'm, I have the spirit of, I've heard that before. That's, um, that's a little, it's uh, a little next level, man. But, so we were talking about Young Chop. Let's come back and, and <laughs> let me finish my, my Say Cheese TV, um, um, trash trash internet um com- commentary with this mm-hmm. last one. Um, boys was beefing this week, and I didn't like it because it's two of my favorite little youngsters, man. Mm-hmm. NBA young boy and Kodak Black, man. What do yeah. we think about? What do we think about uh young boy and Kodak beefing? Raj, what are your thoughts on that? I just think people do it for the money, bro. You know how I feel about all of this. Mm. Like why, why? Like we got we got way too much to be worried about for the to, way too much for me to be worried about to be, I guess what you call researching why NBA young boy and and um and Kodak Black like when like when is the last time Kodak Black even made like music you know okay I feel like NBA young boy gave us something month by month and Kodak he Black, locked like, up I don't I don't know. yeah yeah Los Los you might be able to give him give him the give him the um the overview because let Raj well, know co- what's going on. <laughs> Kodak locked up, man. But um, he, uh, him and he, uh, they were, t- uh, you know, they're trying to say that Mayweather gave him all this stuff. You know, the young boy been having some shit going on with his baby mama and Yaya, uh, Mayweather daughter. Okay, let me um, stop. You. Let me stop you. I love you too. Um, let me tell it in a, sto- in a way to people who might not know anything about what's happening here, and then I want to uh, get your thoughts because I know you've been following the story. So NBA young boy is dating Floyd Mayweather Jr.'s daughter Yaya. That's like his old lady. Right during the quarantine, NBA young boy living right there in Cypress, Texas, on the mm-hmm. right in the north side, is at his house, and old his old lady Yaya come over there, and he in the house with a little chick. His baby mom. Allegedly, they get in a fight, She's and they beat they beat up Yaya. She leave the security put out or something. She sneak back in the house and stab old girl, mm-hmm. and so it was all on like the thing like oh um. Floyd Mayweather daughter is is got um arrested for stabbing somebody in NBA yeah. young boy's house. That same night, young boy go on um his live talking about some who with that cigarette, who? which is yeah. hilarious. Please go yeah. watch the video if you haven't. Uh, hey. who, who y'all talking about? Who? My wife? Say Ted. What is it about? That what I really want to see. I'm trying to see what it's about. These niggas hold Mikey. My God, these niggas be on my dick so bad. These niggas watch me from a jail cell, man. These niggas watch me from a jail cell and be on my dick so bad, nigga. Niggas bitches. Niggas be writing academics about me, man. Telling academics to post shit about me. Niggas hoes. I ain't never paid attention to a nigga. Especially from no motherfucking cell, nigga. The fucking nigga watching me for. Then what a nigga say? A nigga say me. Nigga say I cooperated. Bow, 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 what, you stupid bitch? Huh? 
about, 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 about my wife. Huh? About my wife. Say, Ayana, get up. Get up. Come here. You talking about, you talking about this girl right here? My wife? You talking about my wife? Inside, inside my house that I paid for? Now her bitch ass daddy, nigga. Huh? And now her bitch ass daddy. I ain't never accepted not one thing from her in my life. Why? Because y'all be playing with me, bitch. Like I, like I need a girl for something. Nah, I give her anything she ever asked me for. I ain't never asked her for nothing. She bought me two pairs of shoes. I ain't, I ain't, I don't think I ever wore, I don't think I ever wore a pair of them bitches, but, but with them black Chanel shoes, huh? Tell me why this bitch ass nigga spoke on me from jail. Why the fuck you even watching me? You supposed to be a gangster though, but you watching me from jail. My wake up, yeah. Wake up. He, he wake up. <laughs> he wake up out of the bed. And she looking like death for the cracker. Looking like Whitney <laughs> Houston getting up, like fixing what her hair. And, and he like, I ain't, I ain't never took nothing from no nigga. All her bitch ass dad. But beside yeah. them two shoes, them two pair of shoes that yeah. I got from you that one time. I ain't even wore them shits. <laughs> and, and it was this whole thing. But it started off with, he was mad because after the story took place about the stabbing, some of these news outlets, these TMZs or whatever, said that he's cooperating. Like the last line of the story was, young boy is cooperating with authorities oh, in yeah. regarding to the stabbing. I forgot about it. And that. then Kodak saw that in jail mm -hmm. and told academics who I guess runs his social media account from the way they was making it sound, um, like or whomever else, Kodak's social media came out and was like, oh man, you, you, um, like, you, you're not supposed to be working with them people, man. You're supposed to be doing blah, 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 blah. And then young boy went off and was talking about, yeah. a nigga in jail worried about me? That's how this, yeah. the whole thing started off. Yeah. And then Kodak came back with this little, so say the receipts, like him sounding like him on some songs and then him mm -hmm. like stealing some little dance moves that Kodak was doing, young boy was doing them and something else. So now it's like them two beefing. That is the whole entire story. Los, what are your thoughts on it? I mean, niggas gonna be niggas gonna nig, man. That's all I can say about this story right here, bro. Niggas gonna nig. <laughs> them two, them two are the most niggers niggas ever. So niggas gonna nig, man. Yeah. I ain't surprised by it. I mean, I was gonna tell the story. I was, mine was gonna be a little longer than that, but yeah. I mean, niggas gonna nig, man. That's really the the basis of this whole thing. Niggas gonna nig, man. Them two absolute niggas. If niggas had a face, that was it. So, Raj, what are your thoughts on like? Just musically, like I guess maybe maybe not on the beef, on the music. You said that you kind of feel in NBA more because he drops more music on a more often basis. I mean, I just, I, I you know, it's crazy. Music, music changes so much to me, and and I, I, I really don't pay attention to it a whole lot. But I almost feel like NBA YoungBoy and Kodak Black are like almost two different generations, even though they're right? close. And I feel right? like these these boys, like NBA YoungBoy, right now is like. The voice of the killers, like he, like he really is, like the voice of them little young right? dudes that really don't care, you know. And and to be honest with you, to be honest with you, to me, it's kind of noble that if somebody come in the house and 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 stab someone that he love, or is that how it happened? Is that what is that what I heard? Well, his two, the two chicks he like stabbed each other, <laughs> like put it like that. Okay, yeah. well one one person stab like what which one he which one he was in the bed with saying which one he ended up going home. With? The one who right. did the stabbing. Yeah. The one who did the stab. Mayweather okay. daughter. <laughs> Mayweather daughter. Because I thought, I just thought, damn. <laughs> <laughs> These boys out here, wow. Yeah. So I'm, you know what? I'm actually going to change my stance to niggas going to His mama got to on social. His mama got on social and was like, man, them niggas talking about my son. Yeah. Nigga, you better. Nigga, I'm not going to tell my son to be no violent nigga. But if you come for my son... I wish he let every bullet go out his gun at you, yeah. niggas. Yeah, yeah. That's his mama. That's his mama. <laughs> Rob, you gotta see this shit. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, I didn't see it, but man, man I, you she know, makes and, some great TV though. Man, this is that's crazy. <laughs> Listen, you got caught in the that's house with your baby mama, and then your girl came. Y'all put her out. She had a fight. Put her out. She sneaked back in the house, stabbed the girl. Get y'all get arrested. She get arrested. You get her out. She back at your house, sleep in the bed, the, like in hours. And then who cooperating with them laws? They say NBA. They that's say why Kodak on his on mm -hmm. at his toe. So he in the house with the chick that did the stabbing, but he cooperating with them laws. That's what they say. But then what you call it was like that's what Kodak said in his message. He was like, "Get your security mm -hmm. or somebody to, to um 
to to cooperate. You don't cooperate. Mm. Do I got to teach you everything? Like that kind of thing, man. Yeah, wow. And then what, I mean, you know what's crazy though? He probably like that's that's very disrespectful, and it's actually something that you and I talk about and how you, you how you talk to people. Um, you, if you're trying to give free game, cool. Like, hey man, DM that man know, with that shit. <laughs> right, I don't really like the way that you did that. Like, you know, like you probably like that's not how we move. That's not how real G's move, or however you want to say it. So it's to me, it's good sound advice if that's how you if that's what you want. But Raj, do I want to cite come, I, I come want, at him like that. I want to circle back to what you just said because I think you hit the nail on the head more than I even had considered it. Like that is a part of the story that I hadn't considered. That Kodak Black almost missed his window to be a celebrity because he keep going to jail. Mm-hmm. So. He is of a different generation almost uh, than NBA young boy, and he he clout chasing. Mm-hmm, he got like, to look kids like like young boy got a little twelve. Well, he got my daughter love young boy. <laughs> she love that boy music. Them little kids, the school love that boy music. Hmm. To my second, third grade, it's no word for word. It's crazy because you saying they two different um two different genres. I'm looking at it. Kodak Black is 22 years old, and NBA Young Boy is 20 years old. <laughs> Boys. No, but that's crazy because I know that they close in age. Yeah. Like I know that they are close in age. But what I'm saying is, is like you, like music can change that quick. Yeah. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Like it's even like in like with comedians, like oh, this dude could be the funniest person in, on earth, and somebody else, the next person come, and that person's forgotten about. True. So like, like I said, I hadn't heard. I didn't know Kodak was in jail, but you. You tied it all together saying that, hey, he is in jail, so he missed his chance to be that celebrity. But I still think that he, maybe he does have a little a little skin in the game to yeah. give some give some advice, you know, whatever. And he just did it the wrong way. I mean that's I'm, that's ultimately how I I'm a fan of like like Kodak when he dropped that um Biggie Pac or Lil Biggie Pac, whatever it was called a whole bunch of years ago. Mm-hmm. I was a big plant fan. He was in mm-hmm. We were, you was in uh Denver when that when that, that was hot. Okay. So yeah, I was on that. But then I turn around and 38 Baby was my was my joint too about um NBA. So like what I was bumping the whole um what you call it? The whole Best Friend Weekend weekend was was that damn NBA Young Boy, his last little mixtape, the um whatever, AI Young Boy 2, uh um Al Young Boy 2, whatever shit that shit called. But that thing was like, man, yeah, like it's a very interesting Little cats, little young cats beefing on some rap stuff. But this is what it made me think on just an, on the next level. You start throwing real fame into it. Because you know when this story broke on TMZ and everything else? You know what the headline was? No, I don't. Floyd May- Mayweather's, Mayweather's daughter, daughter arrested. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, Floyd Mayweather's daughter arrested. Uh-huh. Like It puts a whole nother level of who NBA young boy is at that point, right? Mm-hmm. He a little hood dude from Baton Rouge. He like... A, a young Kevin Gates almost, right? Um, but Mo Wow. Yep. <laughs> but, but, but Mo Way Rowdy, Mo Wow. Like, way Mo. And, and my thought about it was this. Floyd Mayweather not scared of Manny Pacquiao or Conor McGregor or any of them boys because he got big security. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think he wanted with it being young boy. <laughs> nah. The, uh, the thing about you know, it, young boy, them talks, little bro. young dudes ain't got nothing to lose. Yeah, nothing. but nothing. he not he not gonna even be able to touch him though. Yeah, neither one of them come... gonna be able to touch each other is what I'm saying. Yeah. Oh wow. So like yeah, like street street. No, uh, I, f- I feel like I, rich no. versus no. If, Go so, ahead. So you Go say ahead. say, you, say your piece, Los. Because if Mayweather like really want that man touched, dog, he can get touched. He got the money. Too. He got a lot of money. Yeah. yeah so, but but the way the way Mayweather move. It'll always come back to Mayweather. Like that it would come back. True. Some kind of way. But I'm saying I mean, we, we, we didn't say you're going to jail. Right. We just said he wanted to touch. He can oh. touch him if he wanted to get touched. I don't think that man he ain't got nobody they can get to. Now, I mean one one thing about them young bat, if you ever catch him somewhere, you know, Mayweather somewhere, you just open they open up and start shooting in public. They can do yeah, it that, that way. That that kind <laughs> of thing. Like they in Vegas. <laughs> And Mayweather and somewhere at some, hop out the car. And, and young boys, yeah, and young boy them at the Vegas strip club yeah, just, just out there. Them boys let don't it loose. Yeah, <laughs> that's true. Let them talents fly. I mean, <laughs> yeah, I don't. That's true. Either way, I think that that like your dad is a boxer and whatever. I don't know, man. I feel like Floyd Mayweather probably sitting there like, damn, I wish y'all made better decisions. Like probably, yeah, like, you know, I you know, the more that I wrap my head around it, like I feel like we know. 
I, you know, I don't know. I don't know what Floyd Mayweather got his hands in, but like just equally as much, I don't know what NBA <laughs> young boy got his hands in, and um and and yeah, them little boys stupid, and Floyd Mayweather stupid too. Mm-hmm. So they probably just like you said, don't want it with each well, other. Well, Floyd wasn't scared of Ti. Floyd wasn't scared of Ti though. I would put my that's I would put my money. I'd put my money on Floyd. Mm-hmm. I'm just saying, yeah. if I had my last dollar and I had to put it somewhere, because it's more money, I'm going money with talk, Floyd's money, yeah. money talk, yeah, yeah I'm going with Floyd's money. But I do think that there's a scenario that can happen where Floyd would get it, <laughs> and white people would come out like, "Yeah, he been deserved it, <laughs> <laughs> nigger." <laughs> They'll, they'll zoom in on that man uh, arraignment. Yeah. <laughs> zoom bomb. His Remember? arraignment. And his Spanish too mad too. Remember when he hit, uh, he sucker punched, uh, what you call it? His Spanish don't like that boy. what man. I was about to say is, maybe I'm giving, maybe I'm, maybe I'm putting 100 on 10 when I say this, but I just don't think T.I. is the same kind of individual as NBA. Young boy, this is uh, the reason I'm saying that. Oh. The, can I, I, this, can I, can I, this is the scenario I'm putting out there. I feel like with a lot of money and fame comes more to lose. Mm-hmm. I feel like T.I., when he was beefing with Mayweather, still had a lot to lose. So, like, he wasn't scared of him because he probably shouldn't have been scared of him. T.I. not going to lose it all. He got all them kids and he had, you know, the whole TV shows and whatever else. Yeah. I just feel like if cats like NBA young boy when they at this stage in their career, when they're 20, 20 years old and retarded and from Baton Rouge and yeah. like, I just, I just don't think they care as enough as much as they should. Yeah. <laughs> That's all. Me, so That's he, all. Me, so he, I, I think he might be, he might be at a uh, little flip and T.I. beef stage then. Right? Remember, so, remember when Boosie was his age? What oh he was doing? Oh my God, bro. He was, he was, Ordering Iggy. people to be killed, yeah. Yeah. like Boos, that's that's Boos a, and they're making songs about it. Marlow in the back seat begging for a body, <laughs> <laughs> making songs about it. I mean, yeah. Baton Rouge. Ti was doing the, the same somewhere. thing too at the young age, but it wasn't as yeah. But that's not when he was beefing with Mayweather. Is what I'm saying. He was nah, like okay. 38 okay. when he was beefing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He wasn't 20. Anyway, Damn, that's, a, that's a very long story that, I mean, I didn't know we were going to talk about it for that long, but I just think it's just an interesting thing on the internet this week. I mean, them yeah. youngsters out there wilding, um, and that's the thing, man. Listen, um, uh, one time for one time, it's Joe Biden's turn because Bernie Sanders is up out of there, so yeah. um, I just needed to say it. And um, so RIP to the Bernie Sanders movement, yeah, that's um, right. led by one of the founders of our favorite company. The Black Coffee Company. So five young Xavier alumni have come together to create the Black Coffee Company, man. Y'all visit theblackcoffeecompany.com to check out their art, apparel, and uh, definitely their coffee. With five unique blends of Colombian, Brazilian, Ethiopian, and Peruvian coffees, these brothers are giving you some of the best java from around the globe and some food for thought as well. Um, These fellas aren't only distributing quality coffee. They preach the major tenets of entrepreneurship, financial freedom, and community empowerment. Uh, the whole movement is dope, but don't take my word for it. Visit theblackcoffeecompany.com and see what all the fuss is about. The Black Coffee Company. Coffee for the culture. Ooh, if you want to see Bernie again, you get you some black coffee and then go to my friend's post. And check out all the R.I.P.s. R.I.P. Bernie. Brought to you by Black Coffee. I don't know if I understood a word you just said. <laughs> <laughs> your, your, your singing voice is a little, a little weird right now. But yeah, uh, one time for um, one time for um, fearless innovators, favorite favorite politician uh, who not in the thing right now. I'm gonna ask y'all two good questions right now because I'm curious about it. Um, when when is when is like, what's the difference between supper and dinner, right? Supper and dinner. You know what? You know what? I'm glad you asked this. So, supper and dinner are the same thing to me. I just think older people say supper. Or maybe even southern, the most southern people say supper. Slaves. But I've heard people call lunch dinner. <laughs> Go get you so, dinner. dinner is just all over the place huh. to me. Huh. So what I what I really would love what I really would love is you just talked about the president if the president would come out and declare <laughs> supper to be what we use universally meaning the meal we eat at night. Los, what's and your dinner? Go ahead. 
don't exist. No more. <laughs> dinner is a is a, a dinner is something. Do that you eat so your dinner? Funny. Like a, a plate of food that is what dinner terrible. should be. Dinner in the movie, huh? Then you go change to oh, <laughs> yeah. supper in the movie with a little thing. <laughs> yep, at night. <laughs> Uh, what neither, neither one of those words mean shit to me because when I was little, my people just say, hey, you ready to eat? So mm-hmm. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I just be like, I'm finna eat, man. I never say I'm finna get dinner. So it's time to eat. It's not dinner time or supper time. To it's eat. time yeah, to eat. You ready to eat? I Yo, say lunch. I said, no, I said, no, I say, I say oh. I'm, I'm eating lunch. I'm eating breakfast. And breakfast too? Yeah. I say, I'm yeah, eating some breakfast, yeah. man. Tell oh, I want some breakfast. Oh, I want, I never say, ooh, I want some dinner. I be like, I'm gonna try and figure out what I'm eating. Raj, the reason I asked you that, Enlos, because I think it might be a regional thing. I think you might be right. I think Southern, like, even more specifically, Acadiana people, my mama used to always say, what y'all, uh, it's time for y'all to eat supper and go to bed. Like, it wasn't mm-hmm. never eat no dinner and go to bed. <laughs> and you're right. I've heard dinner, uh, uh, which, which, well, I don't know, man. I don't know. You I'm, never heard dinner for lunch? Nah, not my really. grandmother used to say I've just heard dinner and supper used interchangeably is what I'm saying. Like it's Me the, too. Me too. I've heard dinner for the nighttime meal, supper for the nighttime meal, but I've also heard dinner. I've heard dinner just being some food on the, like, eat your dinner, but it's not breakfast. Breakfast is, like, over there by itself. I agree. Breakfast is by- I agree that I've heard my mama say I made me some dinner at, like, 4 o'clock p.m. So, but not not noon? <laughs> yeah, not, I don't think it was. <laughs> <laughs> my grandmother, I mean, my grandmother, my grandmother was born in 1916. Yeah. So Jesus Christ. You know, supper. Supper. Dinner. Definitely supper. I think people out here still trying to eat four meals because they're on quarantine. They're trying to have five meals. Bre- I, mean, I eat my breakfast, then my brunch, then my lunch, then my <laughs> dinner, then my supper. <laughs> five meals a day. Look at that. Then the midnight snack. A midnight snack. <laughs> I have a midnight snack. That's hilarious. And the other thing I was curious about was just like, okay, so we, we already kind of talked about our haircuts and how we, we stand strong with one another and I appreciate it. What people doing in these streets if they don't have a significant other right now? Oh man! Oh, I just this. I'm not. I'm not gonna say this podcast, bro. <laughs> I, just, I was about to say. I just talked to one of my partners. I just let me just let me call him now. I just talked to one of my partners. I'm like, man, you know what? Just just like I said, my heart goes out to people that's got to be at their house and don't have much to do and, and, and maybe struggling mentally and whatnot. My heart goes out even further to people that's doing all of that without a quarantine bay <laughs> or a significant other. All that to say, this this particular individual said, I had one and I told her to stop coming because I didn't want to get that, that, that coronavirus. Damn. It's, it's, it's a tough situation because I feel like people are going to get in the relationship type events, because of the coronavirus, and then that day was like, what, I didn't, what's it for I, didn't I wasn't ready, I wasn't ready for this. I, I wasn't trying to be in a relationship with you. I just, I couldn't see nobody. Else. <laughs> I feel like that's gonna happen to a lot of people. It's gonna it's be a lot of happen. people that's gonna happen to a lot of people that's gonna be drove. I, a lot oh, of people gonna be drove, drove. When it's time drove, to go outside, boy, it's gonna be so many mean posts on Facebook. About how niggas ain't shit. You know <laughs> what? You know, I I just I'm I don't necessarily feel super bad for them. I feel bad for the people that didn't go into this with that went into this completely single with no hoes. That that's two different calibers of people. Like yeah. like I mean, some people went in there with like three, four little things they was hollering at, and then mm-hmm. just was like, you know what, I'm gonna holler at this one during the yeah, quarantine, one, right? and because I don't want to get sick. But then they kind of got into this situation like I didn't even like her like that. Now she over here every day. Mm-hmm. Like that's just, mm-hmm. that's one situation. The mm-hmm. other one is probably even worse, Raj. The people who like, damn, I, I'm dry. Like, yeah. I ain't got yeah. nothing. That's nothing in my yeah. phone. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And you know what? Let me let me actually tell you how deep this conversation got. Because I'm like, well, what you do all day? And, you know, there's somebody I, I'm very open with. And I'm like, probably, you probably uh, hit hit that wood. Pawn you hook. Probably, you know. Punch yeah. that clown. Yeah. 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 Well, yeah I'm, I'm pretty sure that's what you're doing with that your boy first time. Like, the TV. You know what? I was... I was on. Uh, I was on. He actually informed me that you don't even have to go to Pornhub anymore. That Twitter is fire for porn. I didn't know this, but that's what I. You know, whatever. Take it with what you will. Um, um, but he, uh, he, he was like, man, you know, I was scrolling down Instagram on my Instagram feed, and I, I got kind of caught up in this. Uh, it was this young dude. He was giving a sermon of sorts, and he was like, this is the this is the times where you could like legitimately get addicted to that. 
Like you could legitimately like grow an addiction to something like that. And I'm like, damn, you know, I never even thought about it like that. Like that's crazy. And I sure would hate to be addicted to anything. Well, you said before. So, so he was like, I hadn't. I've heard you say before that you, you want to make sure that at some point you phase that pouring out altogether of life. So, yeah, that sucked to get addicted. Ooh, <laughs> <That's> a, <man. laughs> you know what I'm saying? It'd be, mm. that'd, be, that'd be bad business to be out here like Kurt Franklin, man, dive, dumpster diving for that. Diving point. in a dumpster. <laughs> <laughs> right? That's bad. And them pictures, we ain't to my video. If he had video back then, Lord, like on his phone. Or what would what also suck is if they if they loop you in for like let's say six dollars a month and 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 don't never cancel your subscription <laughs> because you forget it, keep coming why out would they PayPal. what you gonna do take us to court right. the people versus porn hub no come on you're not gonna get caught up in that you're gonna pay them six dollars for the rest of your life somebody that's somebody cool. um inboxed me the other day talking about some um hey man premium is free for two months I'm like God, <laughs> that's damn. but like everybody on that Los what would you do without a quarantine bay. Um, if I ain't had nowhere to go, I I well, I would cue up that music for nothing nice to say. You know they say if you can't say anything uh, nice, don't say anything at all. If you can't say something nice, don't say nothing at all. Nothing, nothing nice, nice to say, but I'll go nice. I ain't nothing nice. You hear me? So I saw a little meme the other day, and it um it said something like this. It was something like this. I saw a burglar breaking into a house down the street from mine, and yelled at him to stop. He said it's cool. That was his actual house, and he was practicing since he had to work from home. I mean, it wasn't the funniest meme I've ever seen, but you get the point. People from all walks of life with all type of occupations got to work from home. And if and if your thing is running into people's cribs while they're at work, it's tough to do your job these days. Matter of fact, it's so tough that boys are making some of the worst decisions known to man. Luke Haberman was arrested and charged with first-degree criminal trespass by the Douglas County Sheriff's Office right outside of Omaha, Nebraska. Why, you might ask? Because he was, you know, breaking into houses. Now, trespassing is bad, and breaking into folks' homes is dangerous, but he chose to do it at 4 a.m. That's pretty much the, you're sure that someone's going to be home. So I have no clue why he went that route. That's dumb and all, but I'm I'm sure you're wondering why I think it's the, quote-unquote, one of the worst decisions known to man. Well, Luke Haberman happened to break into the home of Anthony Smith. And if, if you're not familiar with Anthony Smith, let me give you some really, really quick background. Anthony Smith is a 31-year-old, um, 6'4", 205-pound guy who was born in Corpus Christi, Texas. He's also ranked number three um, light heavyweight in the UFC. And he beat Alexander Gustafsson, Rashad Evans, Shogun Rua, and he lost on a decision to John Bones Jones. Yeah. Pretty much an unfuckwittable Oof. nigga. Um, but... But this is where the story gets a little wicked. Luke Haberman stood toe-to-toe with Anthony Smith for more than five minutes after he called the cops waiting for them to show up. He's 170 pounds and took a chokehold, various strikes and kicks and whatnot. In an interview afterwards, Smith said, no human being should be able to fight like that. I'm by no means the baddest dude on the planet, but he's a regular Joe and I had a hard time dealing with him. And he took everything that I had to give him. Every punch, every knee, every elbow. He took every one of them and kept fighting me. Boy even had to pull out a knife and hold it down to the dude's neck until the cops came to get him to stop. So I'm listening to myself tell this story and I was and I think I was gonna say I have nothing nice to say about Luke Haberman, but I I, I think I switched my mind. Cause I ain't got nothing nice to say about MMA fighters who can't take out regular ass human beings who they got by about forty pounds in under five minutes. So I won't say nothing at all. You know what? You know how I feel about this? Well, you know what this this story screamed to me? When somebody come up to you and give you their mixtape. Because <laughs> <laughs> the boys, cause what better way to get into the, M, the MMA than to break <laughs> into the dude's house hey, and fight him and do a good job? I mean, he's he, he he by, he 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 by the island now. White, I'm, I'm signing He, he renting out islands for fights, so we, we can get them out of jail if we need to. Free publicity, dog. Yeah. Free, that's what you're saying, Raj? You're getting free publicity for being able to take yeah, a ass I mean, five Yeah, minutes. why not? Like, if I could if I could hook, if I'm cold, like, I'm nice, I could, I, I got the knee action, I could do it all, I'm breaking in the home, or, or if I could box, I'm breaking in the Floyd Mayweather shit, and I'm, I'm hooking. <laughs> and if, if the news come out that, man, it's, Raj Smooth breaks in the Floyd Mayweather's house and goes toe-to-toe for 12 rounds, <laughs> and... and yeah, and Yaya decided that it was it was a close fight and stabbed him. Like I'm, I'm, 
I should get a deal. <laughs> you broke in the NBA young boy house and freestyled against that man. But <laughs> had a cigarette smoking content. Toe to toe with that man. We had a went cigarette smoking content. <laughs> Joe smoking content. Oh my god! You broke in the LeBron backyard. Beat that man in horse. <laughs> 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 In 21. Absolutely. I met that man in 21. Broke in Ray Lewis' house and I ran like... him over. <laughs> Fourth and one. Yeah, man. Met him in the hallway <laughs> and, and beat him in Oklahoma <laughs> drill. Yeah. Met him, y'all both looked at each other. That's hilarious. You oh, broke in Kaepernick house and kneel longer than he did. <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah. Y'all Absolutely. Y'all, all of those all things. Of those, all of those things. Oh, my God. Y'all ridiculous. I but, Lewis, I, I definitely was going to pivot. I was gonna pivot to what you just said uh, with the UFC coming back on, man. Like, like I mean, they they trying to buy an island to go. <laughs> <laughs> he said by any means I mean, necessary. Listen, I, you know what? The, you know what? The, the story came out this week, and I thought about it. I was like, I know exactly why he he doing it because WrestleMania happened this mm-hmm. week, and if you could have big fake wrestling with people jumping on top of each other and sweating on each other and doing mm-hmm. all kind of moves. You can have real fucking UFC. Yeah. If that if 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 y'all gonna let them do that, mm-hmm. then we could do this. Just test like, everybody. I mean, in your it's corner. probably it's probably most safe to go on an island than what they did at um WrestleMania. Mm-hmm. Unless they bring it to the like you got I me mean, gotta get everybody to test who's gonna be on the island. Test who's gonna be I'm on the saying, island. I'm just saying, yeah, that part. Yeah. Obvi- yeah. obviously that part. They gotta yeah. do a COVID test, but I mean I'm sure they probably did it for you um the wrestling too. Yeah, too but yeah. Then people were still in the states, probably being able to go back around their house mm-hmm. to their family, hotels, wherever they were staying at. They got to be in the public yeah. in whatever. But if you just bring them to Safe Island, mm-hmm. he yeah. got a point. I don't see why he can't have it happen now. Like I'm a hundred percent sure that this should happen now, yeah. and I agree with him. Yeah, I agree. About that. Mm-hmm. But you know, but football can't. All I know is you need to bring Luke Hagerman in with. Luke- <laughs> <laughs> the rematch against Anthony Smith. <laughs> what, what? Okay, Hold 4 on, I got a question 4 for you. No, right? Why 4 not? A.m. 4 a.m. <laughs> Why not? Got to put up 4 a.m. Raj. Then, but, that's a professional athlete. Cut 4 a.m. I'm saying. Cut. Are you? Are you? So if if you woke me up at 4 a.m., I really can't do math really good. Right at <laughs> right. <laughs> I, I feel what she's saying. It makes a lot of sense. But what I'm saying is, is the difference between if muscle memory. If, <clears throat> if you're a mathematician and and um and somebody that didn't graduate from high school breaks into your house and challenges you to a math, <laughs> you still should be able to beat him. No, and, I, I, I should be able to hold my own. But what if that man know a little math? Cut, and I'm <laughs> just waking up, and that man came over there just just got finished reading the textbook, just got finished knowing some now, what, facts. What if? What if that man? What if that man was a uh, amateur mathematician <laughs> and broke into your house and just so happened to almost beat you in the math off? The right? math off. All right, but you still you still prevailed. So you said that I, if you said I was that man, the Dana go, White. Hold on. Go ahead. You said that man math me off if, at the house. Go ahead. <laughs> math you off at the house. Pause. <laughs> and and but 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 still you won. Okay. And if I'm the Dana White of ma- of the math world, I'm taking that man. And I'm I'm putting him into the training facility, the math training facility, and grooming him to one day put that fight on TV. You know what I'm math you know what I'm gonna TV. say? That man put my family in jeopardy running in my house, man. I don't wanna see him because I'm scared. Cause that man almost saw me. <laughs> <laughs> I math Man got raw that man got raw talent, cut. He almost out math me, cut. <laughs> I got to I mean to, okay, so then you're not gonna take the fight? Like you gotta take the fight, you work from it. <laughs> I guess I got That's must see TV. Yeah. That's must see TV. Uh, in fact, I'm gonna go ahead. Bold statement, bold prediction. This fight, that fight gonna happen. Relax. Can you, can you also? Can you? Can is there no way that we're just gonna just um, deny the obvious that that man was probably on that shit? That's what I was about to say. That boy's <laughs> on that dope. He didn't feel none of that shit till the next day. I mean, this is all. This is a perfect world scenario. Okay, I think it's gonna happen. Okay, you perfect world it is. I mean, now he now he not gonna be on that. And he only got a trespassing charge because he didn't steal anything. He just like. He just was in that man's house hooked. screaming, cutting, and when that man came in and they started hooking. Could not. It's a wild story. But on that good that is, dope You're too. not a sane individual for doing shit like that. I kind of want to see him in the in the industry. <laughs> <laughs> on the full of that dope. <laughs> yeah, whatever. What, how, any, by any means necessary, I want to see him in the industry. 
Well, we got we putting out an all call for um Luke Haberson Jr. Uh, dope heads, <laughs> MMA. The dope head. <laughs> hey man, look, we gave the people what they want. We ain't gave y'all a um an hour and a half dad in a long time. So um you know hopefully y'all guys enjoy that. We're gonna be right back at you um in your neck with some other stuff real soon. And um, obviously to get you through the Rona, we're gonna keep reinventing ourselves with different type of programming, uh, different different type of podcast and things of that nature so be on the lookout for big big things for best friend weekend while we all in the house so until next time man y'all have a great weekend Bow. make it a best friend Bow. weekend and we out Bow. a best friend best friend easter too why you at it hey Social distance. just under 10 make, make it under seven just to be safe If you if you know me, you know how the story go. Come lick like the middle of an Oreo. Hmm. Sit back, relax. I got way more to show. Giving signs, I'm a whore. Oops, that's a horoscope. Wake and bake on your face, I dominate. Things we do tonight, we won't make it to heaven gate. I think he nervous, knowing that we about to get litty. Because he say he got to pee first, just like P. Diddy. Hmm. I'm about to lick that mother... <clears throat> that motherfucker lick it just like a sucker and it's friday so i'm turned just like chris tucker chris tucker <laughs> let's not use a rubber pipe me like a plumber brush your teeth before you eat your breath be hot as summer body full of oil looking like chicken in grease two fingers in this pussy like he throwing up some piece <laughs> sleeping on the couch because there's come on the sheets dick so damn deep is playing hide and go seek. That's a deep dick. Well, you would know. <laughs>